Hey guys, what's happening? It's the Prodigy here, and we're bringing you another Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay. We got Team Deathmatch on Spec, oh, not on Spectre. We got Team Deathmatch on Summit, and I'm using the Spectre with Grip, um, Sleight of Hand, Marathon Lightweight, kind of the standard class. It's starting to grow on me, and I think I'm playing regular Team Deathmatch, playing with a friend, and yeah. But the gameplay of this particular video is not what I wanted to talk about considering the fact that you guys can listen to my gameplay from other videos and everything like that but I don't know if any of this crap has been going around the w like the world or the other parts of the US but in this video I wanted to talk about the Casey Anthony trial like I said before I don't know if it's going around anywhere else and if you guys don't know what's going on I'll get you up to speed or everything like that but I, it, I uh, this was just, just this was just sick to me. Basically, the summary of this is that Casey Anthony, which is the mom, just refer to that as the mom, was accused of first degree murder, um, ag aggravated child abuse, and aggravated manslaughter because she was accused, suspected of m murdering her child, her three-year-old child. And and it was and that's what this pretty much whole thing is about is Kay, whether or not Casey Anthony killed her daughter Kaylee Anthony and Kaylee Anthony they were based out of Florida they were born in Orlando Florida and somewhere in around in June of 2008 um, Kaylee went missing and they waited 31 days before um, any sort of call to the police and it wasn't even the mom that called it wasn't Casey that called it was her grandmother um Kaylee's grandmother um who called and they said that the grandfather had taken Kaylee with her on like a vacation and hadn't returned for 31 days so that's when they first reported her missing and everything like that and then it came to part where on July 13th, I believe it was, still 2008, um, they, the grandparents get a call that Casey Anthony, the mother's car, is in like a tow yard, and when they go to pick up the car, they smell this strong odor coming from the trunk, and they like believe both of the grandparents during the trial testify that they believe to be the odor of a decomposing body. So, her, like, um, and so, like, they found, when they went to, like, look, like, look from the, uh, look for, like, what was in the trunk of that smell, they contained a trash bag, there was a trash bag in it, but there was no human remains, so, I, I don't know, but that's, like, when, that's, like, when everything started to get, like, crazy and everything like that. So then they brought in, like, all the detectives and everything like that, because by now Kaylee's, like, missing, and they smell dead bodies and trunks and all that random shit. But since then, like, uh, they brought in all these, like, um, head police people, and they even said that, like, the, like, there was DNA of Kaylee in the trunk. So... They ended up finding the skeletal remains of Kaylee in December, which is like six months after they reported missing and everything like that. And so pretty much what's been going on for like, f f I don't even know how freaking long this trial's been going on, is like whether or not she, like Casey killed her daughter Kaylee. And that's pretty much the, the trial. And so today, July 5th, even though I'm a couple hours late on it, because I was at a baseball tournament, so I didn't get to post this video till like, what is it, it was seven, like, nine hours after the actual verdict was on July 5th, um, the jury found Casey Anthony not guilty of first degree murder, or aggravated manslaughter, or aggravated child abuse. So she got off the hook completely. And I find this to be complete bullshit. The, the evidence against her was ridiculous. You had like four different like private investigators claiming that 
like this woman did it and the jury just says no she didn't so it, 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 I don't know what you all like your all's opinions on it or anything like that but my take on it is that this jury messed up like this was some complete bull crap and and I I don't know I was not very happy when I heard the overall verdict the only I guess positive thing you can get out of this is she was charged for four misdemeanors by lying to the police because she was a compulsive liar like her herself she she didn't even know what the truth was she she lied so much that she didn't even know what the truth was it, and it was, and it just came to the point where they got her on film and everything like that lying to the police about these these obvious facts so i i don't know that's that's what's happened and a lot of people are really upset about it and it's it's just ridiculous it's going to get to the point where like cuz people in jail and people in society don't take child like people who mess around with chi- children they don't take them they don't take them ser- like they'll do something about it if the law doesn't do something about it, they'll take matters into their own hands and that's honestly what i think what's going to happen um i think the society will fix this so let me know your thoughts and i'll post more videos so see y'all later peace